I wanted to show you how to use the data viewer within the clinical reviewer tool. Let me go ahead and start it here with this icon. Um, that by default, when you first open up the clinical reviewer, it will show you the case report form view. As you can see down here at the button, all these navigational buttons at the bottom allow you to choose uh, which area you want to view. So in this case, I'm going to look at the data sets. It lists all your data sets here, and you can search for a particular data set. For example, if I wanted to be searching for DM, um, it narrows down the list of anything with the demographics. So um, I can then tap on that and then view the actual demographics data here. You can tap on this to bring down the keyboard. So I can also clear the search criteria so I can see everything. And if I were select on the demographics, for example, and if the data is big, I can go ahead and zoom in on a particular uh, section of the data. One thing you might notice is that some of the uh, data selection data sets here are grayed out, whereas the demographics, the adverse events, and the conmeds in this example is available. The grayed out means that uh, the data set was not copied over and even though the define XML had defined it, but you may not have access to that. Uh, let me show you what that is. If you were to go to the transfer, you can see that we're looking at the sample uh, define XML and there's only a few data sets that have been copied over for this study. Uh, the, for example, the AE, the CONMED, and the DM. The other data sets are purposely missing in this example. It's defined within the define XML, but it's actually missing from the transfer. Um, so if you were to go back, you see that the missing ones are grayed out. Now this is actually transferred from your PC. So for example, let me show you on my PC, I have the zip file here. And so if I were to expand the zip file, I only have a few, um, you know, HTML, which is the data sets here. And if I were to uh, copy that over to iTunes, um, iTunes is where you have your application that allows you to copy it. So if I were to go here and drag my zip file over to iTunes, the moment I drop it, um, it will appear on my iPad. So if I go here to the transfer, you can see the new item, the uh, define or the study three that I copied. I can unzip it, and it shows me all the uh, HTML file. Well, I had to tap on it. it. Shows me all the HTML files that I copied over, but the missing ones will not be displayed. So um, in this case, the missing ones are grayed out. So let me uh, show you a couple more other features within the data view. For example, if I were to go to the sample study. Um, notice that each time I tap on a particular Define XML study, that is reflected, uh, reflective. It shows the same study name here. In this case, this is a sample. But if I go to another, let's say, study 2, and go back to the data, it would show study 2. Um, so let me describe what used the sample study as, as the example here. So in this example, if I were to be looking at the DM demograph or CM for conmeds, I can apply a search. For example, if I were to um, search for anything with the word aspirin or maybe RIN, for example, RIN, and hit search, you can also apply search on top of here. Notice that that is highlighted. So anything else uh, in this in the whole data set that has, I guess there's not, there are not too many values here. If I were to search for a number, for example, the um, patient number, in this case, I'm going to search for, um, um, let me go back here, and search for, let's say, 108, or maybe 008, and search. Notice that all the patient numbers are highlighted. So if I go down here, these other patient numbers are not highlighted. So that's a good way of searching for something within your data set, and you can use the pinch view to go to your specific um, view of that data that contains your search criteria. 
so those are the features that you can use to navigate through the data sets that are available through the ones that have been transferred um, through your Define XML.